Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to make a polarizing kit for your microscope. Um, I made this one out of a single lens out of 3D glasses. Basically, all you have to do, um, there's a little, you use it like a little slit here all the way around. Um, you just shove a screwdriver in there and pry up on it, and eventually you'll break that layer away, and sandwiched between the two layers is your polarizing film. And what I did is I took apart the lenses on both of my lights and my microscope and I traced them onto the other lens and cut them out with the scissors. Really simple. Took me about maybe five minutes total to get everything done including breaking this apart. Um, so yeah, it's it's really simple to do with the 3D glasses but even simpler if you have a polarizing film that you bought from you know Amazon or something like that. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to show you is the effects of the polarizing kit on the microscope. Uh, I'm going to show you different different angles and stuff uh, so you can see what's actually going on. Uh, so let's get into it. Alright, so we've got my microscope camera here. And I'm going to have this camera on so you can see what I'm doing with the microscope and everything. Alright, we'll grab a scrap board here. Uh, I think this is out of a Galaxy S2. So when I have full brightness on, when I have full brightness on like this, you can barely even read this chip here. It's, it's incredibly hard to read. Um, now you can turn this one way and it makes it a little better. If you turn it even further though, it turns everything almost black and you can read it incredibly. And notice how I have, I don't know if you can see this, but I, I have the these lights pointed almost directly down onto the piece. Like if I point them directly down, you can see it works best actually when it's a direct like if it's pointed directly down that's when it works the best and you can see the difference is ridiculous it's literally like night and day and the nice thing about this too is that I don't if you if you look at the traces on the board if you look at like let's say uh, up here if you look at these traces here when I turn this well, it's not as pronounced on this board, but on some other boards I've noticed the traces become very pronounced when you're in this dark mode like this. You can really trace stuff easily, which makes it really nice when you're trying to find like a specific via or something on the board. But as you can see, like if, if you were to just leave it like this, you know, it gets, I mean, I guess you probably could leave it like that and it would probably be fine I just feel like there's not really enough light there like this I like to have a lot of light when I'm working so something like that would be really nice for me full brightness would be right about there but again it's really hard to read at full brightness let's go to an area of the board here that uh, doesn't have much to read on it. Okay, so like this. You can see like it if you were soldering here, it I don't think this would be quite as nice to solder under this amount of light as, you know, this amount of light if you're trying to like solder onto these pads here. I feel like that's like this is not going to be enough light for that but I mean it's totally up to you I mean you probably could get by with it but I prefer to solder under a lot of light but it's nice to have the polarizing for when you need to read stuff that's basically all I use the polarizing for is to be able to read this chip like here you can see the Samsung chip here it's very readable now but under full light it's you I mean other than you know the parts here that are in dark uh, those you can read, 
But again, you know, that's that's another reason why to have this because like this chip, the words are worn off. So you can read half of them under this light, but if you had it like this permanently, you wouldn't be able to read the rest of it. But with this, you can turn it the other way and read the dark text too. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what happens when you uh, when you take these lights and move them to the side. So this is at maybe a 45 degree angle pointed in t towards each other. So you can see on this chip here where it says Sam, you can still read it pretty good. It's it's not quite like that's pretty washed out you you can barely see that uh, that that even says sam if you didn't know that this was a samsung chip down here it's pretty readable uh i mean obviously not the greatest but again you know even when you're coming in from the side it still makes a huge difference not quite as much of a difference it's 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 pretty nice when it's up here it's like a huge difference but even down here it's it's a pretty good difference Yeah, that's, that's basically all you have to do. So um, I would really love to be able to, to test this with my ring light just to show you um, like how it works with a ring light. I've never actually tested it with it, but I would assume it should work the same as long as you cut the ring out of a single sheet of polarizing film. Um, because if you cut it out of multiple sheets, you're going to have multiple different ways of polarization. And as you turn the lens uh it's not going to produce the same effect i don't think it's it would just have light coming from different areas as you turn the lens versus this where it blocks out all light because well here i i can kind of i can kind of show you here um if i set one of these differently like if i set it maybe like that now this one is probably like 45 degrees out from this one so now as I turn this, you can see it it's not as drastic. Let me set these back up here again. You can see it really doesn't change a whole lot. Whereas if I set this one back where it was, yeah, you can see the huge difference in that. So yeah, you're gonna if if you're gonna use a ring light with this, my suggestion would be to cut it, cut the whole ring out of a single piece of, uh, of polarizing film. But hopefully this was a little informative beyond the video that I showed to uh, the people at the Electronics Repair School Discord. Um, hope this went a little bit beyond what that video showed. Alright, have a great day.